Good morning, everybody. This is your week ahead tarot readings for each zodiac sign. My name is Kate May, modern day mystic. You can catch me on katemay.co.uk. Okay, let's have a look. Aries, your week ahead is the 25th of March week. We have a big week as far as astrology goes. Um, but let's have a look. Aries, the Empress, abundance, self nurture. This is a fantastic card for you this week, Aries, as we are in Aries sun season. Now, this card asks that you pamper yourself, treat yourself, do things that you enjoy, and you're actually coming into a fabulous week where there is going to be growth, abundance, love, and where you feel so comfortable with people around you. Good news may happen in a family connection way for you, Aries. Taurus, you're looking further ahead now. You're reaching positive milestones and you're able to see clearly your plans and what you want to commit to. Plan and prepare. There is a lot of action happening this week for you as you take massive steps forward in your journey ahead in reaching your goals. Gemini, the hangman. It's all about hanging around this week, Gemini. Maybe not so much going on for you. You've got to weigh back and forth with things and perhaps see things from a different perspective. It's time to turn yourself upside down, see things differently. Look at the long term, not the short term. There might be some sacrifices that you have to make this week, Gemini. Cancer, you're feeling comfortable, in control and secure. Good news around your finances. You're in the position this week, Cancer, to be able to manage everyone and everything. You're organised and you can do it all. Leo, feeling a little bit trapped this week. Leo, you might have to think outside the box. Where there's a will, there's a way. Try not to be the victim and let things get on top of you. There is always another answer to it. It's not a no, it's a how can I do it? Virgo, the end of difficult times, Virgo. If you've been going through a bit of a rough patch, you're coming to the end of it. Karmic cycles are influencing you now where doors are closing and you'll need to accept those doors as you embrace new opportunities. Libra, you are moving slowly ahead, especially in love and romantic situations. There is love in the air, but you are also starting to feel that you're more emotionally um, able to move forward in situations. It is a slow energy this week for you though, Libra, so no rushing around, doing things that you love, doing things that you enjoy, and wearing your heart on your sleeve. If you're single, you never know who might pop up this week, Libra. Scorpio, new beginnings, taking a leap of faith. Travel opportunities could come in around you, Scorpio, but having adventures, kind of just saying, sod it, I'm just going to do it. Taking the opportunities, and you might find that you're doing things quite quick this week. So you could find there's not planning going on this week, Scorpio, but you're just taking the lead and you're just taking advantage of any opportunity that comes. New adventures and new chapters await for you, Scorpio. Sagittarius, happy ever after. Good feeling of commitment, comfortable and security, success with you this week, Sagittarius. You should be feeling like you've got everything that you want around you and it is coming to a point of um, a conclusion, really, an emotional conclusion where you feel satisfied, feel happy. It is the happy ever after card. Wishes are coming true and feeling a lot more secure within your home and emotional status. Capricorn. New love, new opportunities, great news coming in this week for you Capricorns. Capricorns, you're normally hard workers, you don't tend to get that emotional connection coming in. However, this week you're going to start to feel love is in the air. There could be some breakthrough moments emotionally this week for you Capricorn as well. Help is on the horizon and so take that hope, help. You know, you are a workaholic as a rule, so take that help Capricorn, soften things up a bit and there is joy and good news coming. Aquarius, you need the strength this week. The strength this week. You've got um got to be strong and perhaps rein things in. You could open a can of worms. It's no good throwing your toys out the pram this week, Aquarians. So be cool, be calm, deal with people in a tactful way, in a sensitive way. Hold your power. By holding your tongue and dealing with people in a sensitive manner, you are actually going to come out on top. So it's tactful energy that's your that's needed this week, Aquarians. Gentle tact will win the day. Love wins over hate. You've got the strength to get through things. And Pisces, it's a week to rest, Pisces, even with all that new energy that's coming in from Monday. A week to rest. You could be feeling exhausted, Pisces. To put your feet up, change a bit of scenery. If you can't have a complete rest, then just do something a little bit different. Change is as good as a rest. You're going to need your energy over the next couple of weeks, Pisces, so it's important that you reserve some. Try not to feel too sorry for yourself, but also don't worry about the little things there. There is better opportunities coming. Take some time out to recuperate and you'll come back feeling fabulous. <laughs> 